All right, well, it is behind these cabinets. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's a gopher snake. I see it. He's big. Look at him. Marissa just sent me a call. I don't know what it is. Probably a rattlesnake. Uh, it's a nice warm day today, uh, more than it has been in recent times, and stuff is moving, so I'm excited about that. I'm also getting over uh, getting sick. Uh, I have a lot of allergies, which is, you know, always fun when you work outside. So this is just kind of how I sound a lot of you here. Yeah, they just sent me a message and said the snake is on the move, and I'm behind the world's slowest truck. This year has just been, just been weird. It's been atypical. It's the worst snake season that we've seen maybe ever. I think the closest thing that came to it was in 2020 when we also had just an exceptionally dry year. Um, this is the driest year that I've ever seen in my time in Arizona. And it's really affecting what the snakes are doing. They're just not out. Why would you want to be out? You're just desiccating. So um, they're finally moving a little bit. It's nice and warm at night. They can get out and find places to drink. One thing that we're going to be watching for this year that we've noted is sometimes the super dry conditions might just move the activity or move the encounters. So we don't have as many in the spring uh, because snakes aren't as excited about moving around. But it may mean that during estivation time, when it's really hot, the snakes might need to put themselves at more risk in order to stay alive and find water, and that can put them in harm's way with people. So we'll see if that flushes out again this year, but that was the case in 2020. Uh, there's other things that were happening at the time that could cause some bias in those those observations, but I guess this is a year for us to find out. So I've got about a 15 minute drive, and then I'll find out what, uh, what I've been called out to go catch. Hello. Thanks. It goes for you. So quick. No problem. What do you do with the snake? Uh, it's going to be relocated. We need to pay attention to the right spot for it. So that we, I mean, that crevice right there. Right there. Yeah, I see it. This is that's probably a rattlesnake den right there, <laughs> with that horizontal crevice. I'll take a peek in there too. Let me grab him real fast. I think it's a him. Let's see. That is a him. Really? Yep. You can tell? Yep. He's got a he's got a long tail, and the tail is kind of fat in relation to the end of the body. The female has a shorter tail, and the body stays wide until the very end. So So I'll take a look around because he's probably looking for someone else. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Have you seen check this stuff out in like February or March? This is the kind, this is like, this is a wonderful den. Like it's a big horizontal. I'm just gonna check out the stuff over here. Okay. How's it looking? Oh, it looks like just incredible habitat. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, lots of, lots of good stuff here. So to make sure there's not a, a female sitting on right out somewhere because right now there's pretty strong association with them the males are moving around a lot so if we see a male he's usually looking for a female and so to make sure it's not <laughs> sitting right by the pool or something if you ever have questions let me know okay my, there's a number in there you can text us I if you see it. something you're going on my yeah. bulletin board all right thanks all right see ya well that was an easy one really nice people really nice I'll say it every time that it happens. It is awesome to meet people that get it, that understand uh, the place that they live and want to work with it instead of just want to nuke everything. So this snake is going to be relocated very carefully and it's going to be okay. Okay, here we go. I am headed out looking for a structure that can serve as a uh, the replacement for that snake's springtime activities. This area doesn't have a tremendous amount of rock, but it is in the correct area, so I'm gonna make use of what I can. This is some old car. Somebody has to know, what kind of car is this? It's been here a long time. But it's got a pack rat nest under it, and this is a place that snakes uh, use on occasion. I've been saw a Gila monster here one time. So this is an important, 
has become an important microhabitat. You can see the remnants of a pack rat nest there, and then there's more on the other side with some eggs and stuff over there. So let's go on that side. Here is a beautiful diamondback. And we're gonna just go ahead and take it and let it crawl right into the hole here. There's a big, deep pack rat nest right there. That's awesome. It looks like its tail's broken off. Look at that deep hole under there. Cool. All right, well, I'm still on the line, so I'm gonna tell everybody that I'm available again, and maybe something else will happen. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Ahwatukee. A gentleman uh, saw a snake go into his garage. He tried to get it out, he said it's a very large snake. So I'm thinking either gopher snake, maybe a coach whip, but he said he lost sight of it, so uh, I was gonna have to search around for it, but he just said he found it right now. So I am headed there now, five minutes away. Gonna go grab this snake, see what we got. Hello, how you doing? All right, well, All right. Uh, it is behind these cabinets. Okay. It, and I, I mean, well, maybe it's just my eyes pulling. Because, Let's so see. here's what was happening. Yeah. Uh, I had uh, the, I had cleaners over and then they said, oh, you by the way, you got a snake. Like, oh, no big deal. Oh, you by the way, you got a snake. <laughs> okay. And this thing's sticking out like half from here. And then, uh, and the garage is on, there's a gap right there. You oh, see that gap? Yeah. And it was like half from here. The head was out there and the, and the tail was in here. So I, I, I go, and I got my shovel. Yeah. And then I got so in the garage. So that's why I saw like tail and went all the way back. Yeah. Here. And then I went over here mm -hmm. and I so I come out here and I try to pull it yeah. out and it just coiled back yeah. and went back and then it was gone. Then I run in the garage and I can't find it. Yeah. If you look back there, I think I see it on the ground. Okay, yeah, it's a gopher snake. I see it. Oh go okay, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's just lined up against there. Oh, let's see. So he's heads this way. Like I just, I wanted to poke its tail because its heads that way and if I poke its tail, it might come out that way. So if we could even just slide this the slightest bit to have a gap right here. Let's see here. what's in here. All right, so that, that's most of the heavy stuff. I could try giving it, <laughs> I should probably get this stuff off the top. If so we could kind of pull it out a, li <laughs> a little, and and create a gap, push it that way, and pull it out a little. Then so that I would. Try, I could try you think the, the doors? There we go. Okay. Let me just get this and stuff here. Definitely. If you can go a little bit more, and then I'll just get it. Yeah, out and over. Okay. And then I'll just kind of poke him. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, that should be good. I'm just gonna poke Maybe him. Maybe more. Let me know. Okay. He's going. <laughs> Did you see him? Hi, buddy. I got him. Yeah, we're good. We got him. I got him. Hi, buddy. He's big. Look at him. Gorgeous. Let's see if we can get the length. Okay. Gorgeous. Look at that. He's, he's nice and cold, so cool. Let's go for snake here. Up in here. All right, see you later, little bud. All right, that was a, a beautiful gopher snake, really big. So it tried to sneak in the garage. He tried to get it out, but it's hot out. It's like 97 right now. So that snake was like, no way, Jose. And it went all the way in the garage behind that cabinet. <laughs> Thankfully, he was able to move it and I uh, was able to grab it. And uh, yeah, the community kind of had some desert hillsides around it, some parks and grassy areas, which the gopher snakes tend to like a lot. But I did find it a spot, so it, it should be perfectly fine. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.